Now at the end of my last video, I said I needed one more thing to get this rink nice and smooth. That one thing was snow. And I got it. In abundance. In one day, it didn't stop snowing. So I had to wait for the snow to actually stop before I went outside and shoveled. It's about midnight right here. So I'm outside shoveling the snow off preparing the rink so I can flood it again. Now the snow does one thing, and that helps take out footprints, ruts, and any unevenness on the surface. So you see, I don't sweep it off after, I leave that layer of snow on just before I start flooding. So I take the Zamboni out, and you can see the steam coming off of it. Now I only use hot water, and that's to help melt the snow, and it does freeze quicker and it also takes high spots out of the skating surface. You can see I go over it twice right now, and that is to make sure I'm getting thick layers so you can actually see the water puddling up. Now, in order to get your rink skatable, you're gonna have to be out here a lot, going over it with thin coats. So, I'm gonna do it again, get back at it. So it's back outside, and right now I'm trying to get two coats down, which is what I typically do when I take the Zamboni out. I go over it once, go right back to the beginning, and then I go over it again. Now, if you look closely, you can actually see little puddles of water in some of the low spots, and that's gonna help smooth it out very, very well. Now, I think at this point, I was at about five or six floods that I've already done in this one day and you're soon gonna see that it's getting very smooth and extremely hard to walk on. Now despite the coloration and it looking a little uneven, it's actually way smoother than it looks. Yep, there I go. Stand up, try and get my footing, and yeah, not so much. So I keep on going after I got my footing, flooding away, trying to get as many coats onto the rink as I can. Now at this point, it is day four. It's about minus 20 outside, and I'm trying to get as much water down as possible. Now if you look to the left of your screen, you'll see a puddle of water there just in front of the hose. Now those spots that are low, that was freezing within about a half hour of me laying the water down. And it was starting to get extremely hard to walk on. And as you can see, right now, this fall kind of hurt, but you just got to keep on going. Yep, there it is. So down I go, pick myself back up, and just continue flooding because it has to get done. So this is probably about coat 7 or 8, and by the end of it, you can see that the ice is looking pretty good. Nice and solid, you can see I'm struggling to walk up the slight incline that the rink is built on. Trying to get my balance, but that's about it. Now at this point, the sun was starting to go down, as you can see in the background, it's kind of, kind of an evening shade, which is good. So now I get to go back inside, put the hoses away, maybe warm up a little bit, and relax because I had been outside all day about every two hours laying down coats and coats of water to get this rink skatable in four days. And now this is the result of four days work. You can see that it's smooth. Other than minor ripples in it, it is more than skatable and it's only gonna get better from here.